<laughs> yeah, we're rolling. Turn, turn me up, turn me up. Turn you up? Yeah, I can't hear myself. Or are you on three? I don't know. Oh, there, there I am. There you go. Hey, nice. Yeah, this video's a downer, boys and girls. Yeah, we're, we're watching 90s videos. And it's the runaway train by, was it Soul Asylum or Soul Coffin or I think something? it's Soul Asylum, right? I, I don't know. Yeah. We probably got that completely wrong. No, I think it is. Soul Asylum, yeah. I mean, who is the one that does the B? What's the with the, the oh, that's, girl um, dancing bee? Oh god, what's his face? It's uh that was that was Axel Rose's friend. Um It's not Soul Asylum though. No, huh? that's not Soul Asylum. Oh, it's Collective yeah, Soul. Col no, that's not Collective Soul oh. either. Are you sure? This might the runaway train might be Collective Soul. Uh, no, Collective Soul is a a, a Christian band. Oh really? But no, the one the one the Bumblebee. I know everybody that lis that's listening to this is like, I know that band, you here. idiots. I have a yeah, look I have up. a computer yeah. here. I can look at Google. Yeah. Let's the see. bee girl. Yeah, who's the bee girl in the movie? It's going to go to Jerry Seinfeld's bee movie. Let's see. Bee ha -ha. girl in video. video. Or just look up bee girl video. Uh, Blind Melon. Yeah, Blind. Damn it. I, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that too. You knew that. Yeah. but And, and that actually it, played. It actually came on my our little list here of uh, 90s grunge videos yeah, yeah i don't mind it like this one you got the verve right the verve the verve, the verve and then pipe. there was the no that's the verve and then the verve pipe is another one that does another oh, song really? i there's, love a lot there's yeah. two of them yeah this one's the bittersweet symphony sorry guys because you probably can't see this and then there's the verve pipe and we'll look up that video it's i love that i love that song look at this guy oh he's cool he's got an earring yeah <laughs> he's got an earring yeah that makes him cool no what made him even cooler in the 90s was a nose ring Ooh, dude see nose rings yeah. nose Is rings that it? oh yeah see i got both of those see, I, I know do you just lose it do you just lose your mind with you know me? i lose my mind when you take your clothes off <laughs> do you just lose it because i have an earring and a nose ring yeah i go yeah look at that fag <laughs> <laughs> look at that little fruitcake <laughs> That's what my dad said. You no, know, you know what, guys? I wanted a nose ring so bad my whole teen, like all my teenage years, but I was so afraid that it was such a a, a stupid, frivolous thing that was gonna go out of style. And I'm like, when I turn thirty, if I still want it, I'm gonna get my nose pierced. Well, piercings you just take out. Uh, I it'll, know it'll leave. Oh uh, no, bit of a scar. no, I will leave this forever. I'll yeah. have this forever because yeah. I wanted to like. Tattoos, I'm all, ah, I just draw on my back. Like, I literally mm. had friends just draw on my back with their yes, tattoo machines. Mm. And had no care about that. But for some reason, the piercing meant a lot to me. Mm. And so I waited till I was 30 to see if I still wanted it. And I know I will never take my nose ring out. I will always have my nose Isn't ring. Isn't that interesting? Like, why, it means a lot Why do me. we feel the need to, me too, and I wanted an earring so bad. Yeah, you wanted so an earring bad, so bad. So bad. And like you I, haven't you haven't done like the thing yeah. that most guys do after they get the small earring like you haven't gone and gauged it out and make it like these no, big I, gigantic I, shot I think that's dumb. I think that's dumb for me, we'll say. No, yeah. It's, no, you, I don't understand I, that. I like your earring. I like your Billy Idol earring. It's sexy. Well, I I, I get in too many used to get in too many fights to have a hole in my ear that can be yeah, fucking can just yanked be like out. Yanked. I used to have a, I had a nipple ring and that got yanked during a fight one time. And no, that, that's not smart. That's when I that's when I got rid of it. That's one thing I never because it ever swelled wanted. Up. Yeah, I pierced it with a with a safety pin. I had a safety pin in my nipple. I pierced it a bunch of times. That's why it's all fucked up. All three of my yeah. ear holes with a safety pin. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, but the uh, not my nose though. Yeah, no, no my nose. nose I, I went to an actual. I went to my my buddy John. Over I almost just fainted though, man. They stuck that, that needle through my nose, man. I was just like, like it was. It, I don't even remember it hurting. I just remember maybe it was all in my mind. Like I just sweated. It was weird. Yeah, no, I got the sweats yeah. on that one too, but like I was, I thought it was more of like an adrenaline kick because I wanted it so mm. bad for so long. And finally yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm never going to go back on this. What I'm always going to have it. It's a trip that we feel the need to uh, put a piece of jewelry in our face. Well, I mean, women have been painting our faces since the yeah, I mean, of time. We've like, been, we've been always we, doing that. I, but. As humans, we have seen, we have put things on our faces and bodies as a form of our own personal expression since the dawn of time. Yes, but why do you feel the urge, the dying, ur the fire to do this? Because like, it looks I, so cool. Was it just because I wanted to be like Billy Idol? Is, is that why? For like, me, just, I wanted, uh, and still to this day, like the, uh, the one person that I 
as a kid I really wanted to model my my career after was a uh, was uh, Linda Perry from Four Non Blondes, which just came on the yeah. TV. Yeah. Okay. And, and her nose, I always thought her nose ring was so rad. Yeah, she's very pretty too. Yeah. Like if she wasn't a lesbian, you know what I mean? Dude, no, to be but, smashing. But still, like, to, like she, she, she's. She's got a great face, and her nose ring yeah. only makes her look even cooler. And she still dresses outlandish like that. She's still that person. Like, yeah. come on, I want to maintain that part of now, me. Now, do you feel? You know? Do you feel that's why you uh, like you just wanted to have it is because you you saw that one person and inspired your, me, and it inspired you. Yeah. Or do you feel it comes from something maybe? within a heritage or a lineage that for some reason maybe that too i'm also i'm also native american native americans know, are very known for body art but i mean it, it's just like it, it, like you really think about it i had this my discu- dad's a punk rocker yeah. you know, i had this discussion up. with my father too it was kind of the same thing as like like we were talking about why do we feel the need and we kind of had this little little discussion like why do you feel the need to wear a lock around your neck and i go well why do you why do you have a tie on with a, with a suit you know what yeah, I mean? I like it was just because a tie is useless. In fact, it it, it 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 does nothing but get in the way. Yeah, and then you at the end of the day, you're happy to take it off like a bra. Right, but the the chain around my neck never comes off. Sometimes I guess if I have to take it off, but but why do I feel the need and I feel naked without it sometimes? Right? Yeah. Like if I don't have it, I, I mean can't. I have, I have certain pieces of jewelry I feel naked yeah. without because I have an emotional tie to them. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what that's about because it's. It doesn't serve any any purpose as far as Listen, physicality. I felt, I felt naked yeah. without my watch on today. I accidentally left yeah. my watch charging today. I know I got it. So used it, to the it. alarm went off during uh, when we were setting up for the oh, podcast. Sorry, I got so used to having it on. Like, there's certain things that you one you, you start like this one was just because it's a watch, you know. But yeah. I got used to having it on. But my necklace here, I'll always wear this, and my nose ring. I don't. I don't ever want to be without it. Yeah, but it's interesting Weird. is why it makes you feel maybe it makes me feel whole. Like to put part, something like, in the hole. Yeah, well, it makes me it makes me feel like, like I'm, I even like I when I go out like regular day every day I'll be fine with no earrings on. But if I'm going out like to put makeup on and stuff and like dressing up, if I don't have earrings in my ears, I feel naked. Hmm, like I a, feel wrong. Like I'm not balanced. Like human beings and jewelry is is interesting. And some people decide to go crazy with the jewelry, like a Johnny Depp. Where it's just out of control, just just bracelets upon, upon bracelets beads upon, upon, upon beads upon upon scarves of, of, upon cloth that dangles from your belt. But it's weird that that we feel the need to do that. Most pieces of my jewelry, unless I'm wearing stuff up on stage, like if you catch me out in real life, my jewelry means something to me. Right. Like I won't like if if you catch me on it every day where I'm just walking down the street, the earrings that I'm wearing are my dead grandmother's. The neck that I'm, the, the necklace I'm wearing has got my dog's ashes in it. You know, like my yeah. nose ring. I've wanted that my entire life, and I kept it. It's but also, a, you think so, it looks it looks good. Yeah, it you looks, wouldn't you wouldn't it wear it good, if it didn't. But there are also pieces like if you catch me, like if if I'm out on the road and I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm up on stage, I wear sh- I wear jewelry doesn't mean, that doesn't mean anything to me because I'm afraid of losing all my important stuff. Yeah. But um, but everyday life, you'll catch me like my. Everything I wear means something to me. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, it, it is interesting. Really, to just take a step back. Never mind what we wear. When you look at somebody, uh, say somebody on stage, or even no, better yet, just walking down the street or at the bar, yeah. and they got bracelets on, they got rings on. Say for a man, it's even more odd uh, yeah, for a man. E- it's even more of a statement. When more of men a statement for a man, and and we go, why did he feel the need to do that? You know, and and even some people judge. They'll judge it. They'll be. They'll say, uh, you know, it's a douchebag or whatever the fuck. You know, I don't know. Like there's some douchey stuff, right? Uh, but, I guess. But, but if it makes them feel good, who gives a shit, right? Yeah. If if you want to wear, I mean, personally, I think Johnny Depp looks cool with all of his layers. Yeah, but, but imagine if it wasn't John. It, that's just a guy at the bar, right? Yeah. Because Johnny Depp is a cool guy. Yeah. But who knows? Like this guy at the end of the bar, maybe he's he does other stuff that's fucking cool, and he can wear whatever. And he, he and wants. he probably does. Yeah. And he probably does. But like like um, it's like Steven Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> Steven Tyler wears feathers in his hair and stuff. He looks like an old hippie grandma. But I he wonder looks if awesome. Like sometimes uh, I wonder if you know Steven Tyler comes out and he wants to go to the to the Dodger game or something, right? 
and you're like, hey, bro, it's too much, man. We got to go through the lines, and you got the feathers. It's in the people's way. They're no, trying to no, watch the he, game. He wears he wears a Dodger hat, and then just has all his hair pulled back, and the feathers coming out of his ponytail. And he looks like a tranny. <laughs> he looks awesome. No, Stephen Tyler is great, but it looks rad. I'm just saying. I think about that with myself sometimes. Like, why did I feel the need to have these tattoos? But, I feel the need to have, but I feel the the urge. It's it's so strong. Right? Like, I have to you have... You have to have it on your body. I have to have these fucking earrings in my ear. Yeah. You know, I have three earrings in my ear. And you're... I've never seen Is you without them. What do you I have, have? You have three. Yeah, three. Yeah. I've never seen you without them. Yeah. And I feel I feel odd without them. Like, if I do a, a shoot... like, a, And but you have to take them off for the character. I gotta take them... I take, yeah. take everything off for the character. But... Uh, or even... Uh, take them off for the audition, which I actually stopped doing. I was just like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. But... The um, I but I've had earrings since I was a teenager, the same exact earrings mm-hmm. since I was a teenager. So See? it's and and same with my. It the, means the, it means something to you. I guess it does. I guess it was. I just wanted to be. Who knows? But if, I if always feel, wanted to have a fucking feel, earring. If you feel <laughs> naked without it, yeah. it is a it is a part of your identity. I it's guess so. And something do, that it, it's like a it's a inanimate extension and, of your body. It's an inanimate. An, is that right inanimate, An, inanimate? yes A cheap object and these earrings are cheap they're yeah. very cheap like that's not real fucking silver from from uh you know south africa or anything it's a fucking you know it's it's something i ordered online because i they break all the time and i lose them yeah but, but you still have them and but and this is from home depot I stole this from Home Depot when I was a kid. <laughs> you stole it, but the thing is that you yeah. stole it and decided to make it a part of your motif. Yeah, I totally did. Since you were like sixteen, I made years a old. I made a whole because uh, you take the chains and you they have the chain cutter at the yeah. thing you can, and I cut it like that. I fucking opened up the box of the of the of the the lock and just went done and walked out. And I, was, <laughs> I was like, there you go, boom, like Sid Vicious, bitch, go fuck yourself. See? <laughs> yeah, it's somebody that inspired you. That, that it means something to you. Yeah, it's like, funny. I wanted to be like ring. Sid Vicious out of all out of all people to try to be like. I wanted to be like Linda Perry. Now, tr- like, and I've listened to many of her albums. I haven't owned any of her albums except for that one album that 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 uh, what's going on is on. I bet you because it's all the her, acoustic the guitars that, and things, right? Um, no, electric I, guitars. There's, lot, there's it's every song's got an acoustic in it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, but. Um, it's it's, her, it's, her, it's yeah, very but, folky, but it's right. her songwriting. It's her songwriting for her pop artist that she's worked with that has inspired mm. me. Like I would like to write a fucking pop song from the, like I, she wrote this song beautiful yeah. for Christina Aguilera. That's an amazing fucking song. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and like I would like to write a masterpiece like that one day. So that was like the nice. The, the more as a kid, I was inspired by her because I wanted to have that, and I picked up a guitar. I'm like, mm. I want to be like this and write songs. And then over I the years, I was one, like, wow. dude. I'm still inspired by her. That's a better role model than uh, fucking Sid Vicious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't except really. For, except for he, he created a genre. Pretty much. He yeah. was the punk. He created a genre. Kids started walking around with safety pins he, in their cheeks. That's and true. Shit he was, he that. was the punk. That, that's true. And then I, 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 I moved on to uh, Rollins. Wanted to be, uh, I really, uh, see, and then you start lifting weights because you want to look like them and <laughs> yeah, make your body be like, I want to be like the fucking, I want to be angry at fucking rad. everybody. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you're listening to Black Flag and things like that. It, it, interesting how things start to morph your world. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, it sticks like, with you. It, it sticks with you. And it's, it's so funny because, you know, like, you know, like I didn't come from a, uh, rock and roll punk rock family or anything like that i just some i just grasped onto it my mom still you know? wants to get her lip pierced and she's for yeah. the same reason that the lip I, piercing i, I don't get I, for the same reason i waited for my nose she's like ah, yeah. maybe i'll get it when i turn when, like, when i turn such and such a, i don't know she's like but eventually she's gonna get it yeah well, look i mean I, I think it's even cooler the older in life that you get these things that you've wanted it for so long you're like you know what? because my mom it took her years to dye her hair an odd color until she's like trying to she wanted her hair to be healthy again right but yeah. she kept on processing it with all the black dye and it made her hair all frizzy and crap so told her mom we've got like purple color conditioner to start putting that in the white hair 
And now my mom's got this awesome fucking unicorn color, like like stark white going into purple, going into black kind of hair, and it's become her identity, and she loves it. Nice. And, and she's like, I've always wanted different color hair. Yeah. I just never had the balls to do it. Now, the older you get, now, what do you less think fucks about, you give. What do you think about, uh, you know, where, where guys are getting their whole bodies tattooed, and they'll go... Where it's it's pretty much so many tattoos that it's just now no longer a tattoo. You've just changed the color of your skin to to designs and things. It depends on like how old they are. Well, my or, or, say my age. Okay, so say so say if they're they're doing if they're doing that in their twenties and they're just like going in. I'm gonna get my entire body. I'm done gonna be a rapper, so I have to tattoo in my their whole 20s. face. Like in their twenties, I don't I don't know if you've lived enough life to want to like to have that many tattoos on you. But if you're if you're in your forties. Mm-hmm. And you've waited your whole life to be able to say, fuck it. Now I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I know exactly what I want on my body. Yeah. And you've been thinking about it for that long. And you des- then, then I think you deserve it. Then you can go like, I don't need to be in a fucking desk job where I can't have tattoos and I can't do yeah. this anymore. I might become, I become self-sufficient. But you when- also can't uh, be anywhere and have a real conversation well exactly which, which they're probably that's fine with which they're like, like good they, they i'm work, fucking fine they, with they work their whole but lives like if to I'm, not have to fucking like think i'm about gonna be that. honest when i'm when i'm sitting in front of a guy and he's got his whole face tattooed the face tattoos and, i don't know and about. i go and i go and, uh, me uh, obviously i like tattoos but i'm going uh, in my brain i keep st- I'm not listening to what he's saying. I'm just constantly getting veered off to his, his the, face tattoos. The entire face tattoo. And tattoo. then I try to make a backstory as to why that's happening. Like, like I, I, I get it. Like, Especially when you're good looking, I, too. I get, like, some of these good looking guys are I get, fucking doing Okay, so I get early 2000s when uh, it was the big thing just to get, like, the little outline of the stars tattooed on you. Right? And that that's was... like a Kat Von D thing. She was doing that. Yeah. The early 2000s or thing. Did that. And it was just a, it was a thing in time that people were doing. Or the, guys, the, guys the, were the getting the little anchor or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Anchors I get if you're a sailor especially. I do like them, but. Um, the, the teardrops or the crosses I yeah, get. Yeah, but the, but the teardrops, see, the, the all, these, all these things the came from. The teardrops, that's a prison tattoo. All the, but all these things really came from prison. Well, not, all if these. not if you're getting a cross tattoo on your face. Like that's a, no, that's I, a whole like, like a reformed. Uh, well, actually, it probably is because the cross tattoo comes from well, comes know, from uh, people who are who are reformed like addicts and, and stuff. And black and gray for, and single needle came from prison. Yeah. That all that stuff is 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 from prison. In fact, that's where you the know tattoo I mean, you machine was made. You know how many of my friends I have that has still so. have got the Mi Vida Loca, the three oh, dots yeah. on their that hand, was a big one. the self tattoo. That was a big one. But uh, I'm not, look, it is what it is, and tattoos are different. They don't, when you say, sometimes you go, well, you haven't lived enough life to get that. That's out the window now. No, that's bullshit. Well, but, it, no, I don't think it's bullshit at all, actually. But I do, no, but I'm I'll, I'll say it saying as, it not I'll, as an old man. I will say as it's bullshit for a 20-year-old to have a whole body's worth of tattoos that they just walk in the tattoo the tattoo factory and then come out covered. That's I think that's over that, now. That, that's I, like a that's a spray painted Barbie or a Ken doll. Like I well, don't I don't get that. Well, because here's why it's different. Because now people say I would wear that tattoo. When you what? S- that's 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 a new thing that's being said. Meaning like like oh I love that too. I would wear that tattoo. That's the thing that's being said now. That's weird. So you go. So like, if you go, Ian, I love that fucking Grim Reaper you got, yeah, right? I, I like your, I like your troll of vampire. Which, which girl. nobody's gonna, you know, this is nineties, baby. My favorite tattoo on you is the troll of vampire. <laughs> Me too, baby. I love that. I, I love, I love it. I love that tattoo. I do too. Um, but yeah, it was it, like if someone said, "I love that," and they go, they go, "I would wear that." That instead of. Instead of I would, inst- I would get something. I'd like get something that. like that. It's I would wear that. So it's not. A, it's not a piece of clothing. Well, it though. is now. Now it is. Okay, so that I don't get that. I don't like that because tattoos are art. Right. I mean, I guess clothing in itself, like fashion, over the years, is an art form. There's there's people mm-hmm. who have changed the the fashion world that have. I mean, fucking, you had Levi Strauss who brought in jeans in the 1850s, and all of a sudden, all of our world has changed. Like, we're all wearing canvas fucking jean pants. Right. Well, I mean, you know, there was a major stigma on tattoos just a few years ago, just if, especially yeah, if it just creeped up on your ago. neck. 20, you know, 20 it, years ago. And now kids are starting with their neck. I remember when I got my first tattoo, I was 18 years old, and I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was. 
but I'm about to turn 40. And my dad was so pissed off because my cousin was the tattoo artist that did it. And he was actually pretty well known in our, in our, in our town for being a stellar tattoo artist. He was so pissed off at my cousin for doing that. I was 18. Mm. And my cousin went to him. He said, she's an adult. And I told her if she wanted it, I would give her her first tattoo. Would you rather have her going to somebody that wasn't certified? I agree with like, that. Would you rather have yeah. somebody that she didn't trust? Like, because I would have, I would have gone to my friends with like, here, let's uh, let's stick, let's stick needles in, in little ink wells and yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, uh, I, I if you look at it, that bad. if you look at it for your, if you have your kid, that's a hard one, man. Because sometimes they'll make a bad decision that because it cannot be removed. Dude, you know? uh, let so, me tell you about the tattoo my like, dad has. Yeah. That cannot be removed. And he also walked out halfway through it getting done. So it's just a halfway done piece of crap on his arm. Okay, but it's just on your arm. Like sometimes people will do something, you know, it's just. It, well, yeah, on your it's feet. Re- you can't there's a make lot those, of very regretful uh, tattoos. I, I wouldn't get. make those regretful tattoo decisions. Your first tattoo shouldn't be on your face. I almost did. It shouldn't be and on your face. I almost did. Your first tattoo would have been on your face? No, not on my face. Yeah. No, I was going to get. Um, uh, just off the wall, it was going to be a barbed wire and skulls. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's that regrettable. Mm, that's I'm glad that, I don't have a but, barbed wire around. But um, yeah, I mean that's a very predominant time. That's that, that's 1995. Right I mean, there. I had I I had the uh, uh, you have the, plenty of skulls. I had the oh and the, well, and the flames the f- the skull and the flames skulls, the 90s the flames the graveyard you 90s got it. yeah. Yeah, I was very, especially during that time, man, I was very into, oh, Ian's defying death kind of thing, which is so full of shit. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? As When you're a kid, I mean, a lot of it was we definitely, we collectively didn't think I was going to make it till till 18. And that's then why, not, that's not why you it. have the tombstone of your birth that's year why I got my, and it's still empty. Well, if you want to see, you want want you want the cheesiness of it. Yeah. Let me give you the flu because yeah, you guys it, have already it. made fun of my back tattoos. Hey, so I'm, if you want, I haven't made fun of your back tattoos. That's because it's the, gone. On, on now, not <laughs> not not on the podcast. But, but that's because it's gone. But but that's another example as to where like times change. That becomes a tramp stamp versus a oh. like gangster as fuck tattoo. Dude, right? I, I, you know I, I gotta mean? I gotta tell you but, though, I got some friends with some. some those but, um, are those are regrettable for dudes, and it sucks because that was that was a time that I, I guess it's even worse for chicks though. Oh because yeah, because every chick had the dolphin, the dolphin or the rose. Swimming the, yeah. swimming the waves into the sunset that's on the, their back. That's and now the it number just looks one. Like a, it looks like a tuna fish. That's the number one uh, cover up in shops or the, or the, uh, the, the tramp stamps. Yeah. But uh, anyways, um, this one here, like if, if you see right, you got the, you got the tombstone, with my mm-hmm. name on it in the year. And then you got, you got the gargoyle, right? Yeah, and, like the gargoyle, like and the gargoyle and the gargoyle saying not yet. That's that's the whole idea. Okay, he's going, no, no, no. Yeah, he's doing Not like Matumbo. He's doing uh, Dikembe no, Matumbo. No no, 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 no. And so that was like it was one of those things. It's it's cheese ball. But I guess at the time, I never noticed him doing that. Yeah, at the at the time, I was very into defying death. So that's me in the the graveyard in the graves with my base. You know, going. Uh, yeah. I'm going to die. You know, whatever. I was, it was just a whole thing. That, I, I like your tattoos. That was though. a thing for me. It was, your, your tattoos you know. say stuff like it, it's like kids now. Kids now are walking into the tattoo yeah, factory the and the broken covered. notes because I never hit the right note. <laughs> See, Ta- yeah. but kids now are walking into the tattoo factory. And they're like, um, I want a bunch tattoo of tattoo factory. Koi. I yeah, like that. I want a bunch of koi fish. Um, I want a. Uh, like I'm gonna get yeah. a gigantic clipper ship on my back and old. Uh, Ooh, I love the clipper ship. I mean, they look great, yeah. but it, it, that, what's it got to do with well, any any moment well, of your life? Like these sailors were getting ships tattooed on them because they're fucking sailors. Yeah, the sailor tattoo. Well, here's what brought this up is that now now people are saying I'll wear that. So so the fact I that, like that because when people got tattooed, it was for a tribe or a or a gang or a or a, a or a military sailor, whatever the fuck, and, or, um, but uh, now something. nowadays it's just something pretty on your arm. It's fashionable. It's I fashionable, mean, and I, look, I, I don't mind it. Like fashionable, but I, I, I don't that. mind it. I, I guess because I'm trying not to sound old, and uh, I do fancy myself as a tattooer. But um, 
there is a lot where, where sometimes you, you go, man, I don't know if you earned that one yet, bro. But you know what I mean? Yeah, like, especially when they're getting they're getting tattoos that are pre- like koi fish tattoos are a trademark, a they're, but they're a trademark of the Yakuza. The Yaku- also. Well, the Yakuza's also. got well, that's what uh, all these are made from uh, yeah. jailhouse stuff or gangs. gangs. And the Yakuza, that was their big thing, was like they'd be all suited up and shit. And then they just got their whole back, back yeah, of it. And it arms back and, all the way down to their... their and their, by an old school uh, tattoo artist who specializes in doing, in doing this, this yeah, type of work. doing this Japanese And doing, a lot of it is a stick and poke and doing it very traditional. Very traditional. And it's, it's kind of a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's a beautiful art form, but it, like these kids are getting things tattooed on them that don't know. That. I, you know what? I'd be okay if yeah. you had a twenty-year-old walking into that tattoo factory, going, "I know the <laughs> shop." No, no, I'm saying tattoo. Factory? Oh, no, I'm saying a tattoo factory because they're just yeah. pumping out the same shit on okay. the same okay, kid, like on the that. same kid that looks yeah. like Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. time after time, and they're looking like Ken dolls with tattoos on them. Yeah. So. If you got a kid that's going in and it's like, I want a koi fish, but I want it done in the old Japanese traditional style. Yeah. And and they go, I want it because of this. Like, I know the history, the art history behind it. Like, there's, there there was for a while over at the LACMA, over at the L.A. County Museum of Art, uh, that they had a whole thing about the, like, traditional tattoo history. That mm, I yeah. really, we really, we the, never uh, got a chance to traditional, see. Traditional, uh, American traditional? Yeah, Ameri- or all no, the traditionals? No, uh, Amer- like, sailor, like, all, all the, all the different regions where the the traditional the came American from, traditional from Polynesian yeah. oh, no, from okay. Polynesian to American traditional to yeah. Japanese traditional oh it's and great the, yeah. all and it's basically all the sailor ports mm-hmm. and so it was the full history of where tattooing came that's from. great yeah and that like we wanted do you remember when that was happening we I do never remember. we never got we a chance go. to go see that, yeah. that exhibit like I would have loved to see that and if you're a kid if you're a 20 year old going like you can't be a 20 year old coming out with full Japanese traditional and not knowing the meaning of the artwork behind it that's what yeah, drives I guess, me insane I guess not but I mean you can go like yeah you can go but, so but, far but, to but all again, the, a lot also, of these things I also yeah. like you, you go to different countries I'm like I'm gonna want a kimono mm. I mean <laughs> and uh, not know the history behind yeah it, I, I go back and forth with that all the time I think it's I think nowadays, I, I, I'm almost thinking like placement, you know what I mean? Where it's just like you're getting a, a, a big neck tattoo at, at, uh, at you're 19 years old. And I go, you haven't earned that neck tattoo. You got to earn it. I agree. If you're going to start. You're getting the knuckles done. Like, you get, it's like just your first of, tattoo should you know. use, like as dudes, I think they'd start on a bicep or on a shoulder. Yeah, every, you know, everyone girl, got the, like the girl, shoulder. Girls, the, girls yeah. it always starts on the upper back or it starts on a wrist or something. But like I, you have to earn. Like, I agree. Yeah. I think that you should have to earn your tattoos. Like they should be thought of. And I'm not. I don't mean to be an asshole to shame or pretentious. Anybody in not trying to be. No, I'm not trying to be pretentious because it's it's all good. I think it's all good. But I love tattoos. But I love, uh, and, and I, I love, come from the age of you. You kind of had to earn it a little yeah. bit. And maybe somebody could say the same different about me. I didn't earn mine as much. But my whatever, cousin, but, as he's tattooing yeah. my chaos wheel on the back of my yep. neck, he's like, "Are you sure you want to get this?" Yeah. No, and and I'm all, well, I want to get it not just because of the punk rock history chaos behind it, AD. but also yeah. this is a Buddhist symbol of like the different mm-hmm. the different phases between life and death, and everything has every action has an equal and opposite reaction. He's like. Well, you actually studied what you're getting tattooed on you. I will tattoo that on you then. Mm-hmm. It, like he was a responsible tattoo artist going, well, are you sure you want this? And that's one tattoo that I will like, I'll probably have you go over it and, and fix it up. But I'll never get rid of that. Yeah, that, that tattoo means something to me. Like my fucking nose ring means something to me. That means mm. something to me. Yeah. I mean, it's just all of it is very interesting why you feel the need to uh, to mark up your body or put stuff you know even a hat a certain hat you yeah, know what i, I mean like have made hats why their identity just hats i guess i guess i could uh, yeah. i guess i could be a part of that one because I, I i love my hats you can't go you I, cannot I, I go out my hats, pu- man. like you're, you're not going yeah. out in public like me i'm not going out without mm. if i'm going out out yeah. i'm not going without earrings you're not going it's interesting out without a hat. it's interesting though right yeah. isn't it it's so weird well. you know and it and just how things evolve and how people want to. But it's all fashion, honestly. In the I long guess run, it is it all. Is. It's an extension. What we put on our bodies on the outside is the extension of yeah. our inside. Because you can even we say, well, you know, the, these some of these people that are anti-fashion, which I don't know shit about 
real fashion what you little fruitcakes think are fashion but um you can even say the anti-fashion is fashion you know what i mean like the Nirv- uh, well, like when nirvana did anti-fashion. like oh, meaning like nirvana like, like the grunge when and they're stuff. wearing their grandma's cardigan yeah and then that kind of became a fashion in its own yeah you know, became, literally hugo boss made an entire living off of that yeah like they went from nazis to kids in the oh 90s. boy that's so funny <laughs> that's true man hugo boss uh hey Hugo Boss and Coco Chanel went from went from Nazis to kids in the nineties and those made a n- killing. Hey, those Nazi they, uniforms. They, they created were, the whole heroin chic. I mean, those Nazi uniforms were on point. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, those I'm, were solid. I, I'm not, dude. To the point that like that film cre- like film creators have been making and modeling their yeah. their bad guys off of those uniforms Even for still, decades. Absolutely absolutely can't, man I, I can't say they were wrong like the, the nazis knew how hey to the dress. nazis knew well look they obviously knew fashion propaganda they knew advertising they knew how to push their agenda yeah they knew what they were doing they man so let's get out of here all right i was uh, enjoying this talk yeah like we should carry this on tomorrow we, we'll carry keep the uh the the nazi fashion no no not the nazi fashion i want to oh. go in the history of tattoos man yeah that's very interesting well, we'll let's carry that on and we'll be uh well informed i want to bring people i want to bring certain people in with different styles of tattoos and be like whoa what yeah made you get bring in that? a bunch of tattooers that'd be fun yeah just that'd sit be great talk about uh uh just how much better we are than other people <laughs> you know what i mean like everybody everybody like because we all like everyone's just like oh that person's a poser that person's a poser that person doesn't didn't earn it that person didn't earn it. then they look at they look at me or, or you and they're like oh he didn't fucking earn it he didn't, you know what i mean so it's like <laughs> everyone everyone's constantly like nah, fucking i'm just saying take it easy kids Take it easy on those those tats, yeah, don't, man. Don't start off with a neck or face tattoo. Yeah. Or, or the hand tattoos. The I know hands. people, so many people start off with a We're hand. Starting like with the, the knuckles. Of, the top of your hands, man. The knuckles. You get those dumb roses on the top of your hands. Knuckles, I don't mind Stop so much. It. But like when you get skulls or roses on the top of your hands, in, in 10 years, that's just going to be a black. Well, by the way, guys, black. the rose never looks like a rose anymore. It always looks like a. It doesn't. A, a, it looks like a wilted because, vagina. Because you guys are getting the real it quote unquote realism rose on your fucking hand which gets surrounded just, just by blackness it just bleeds it sucks guys hand hand skin is not forgivable skin. some are some are cool until five years and that shit comes out not forgivable i'm skin. telling you yeah it's not forgivable but anyways all right we're out cheers you guys later 58